Hey everyone, and welcome back to the X-Ring. So you guys come here quite a bit for the long range content, and I have something really cool that I've never used before, just got it in, and there's actually not much information on the internet about it, and that is a JP Rifles in 22. So stick around. All right, so you guys know that on my gas guns, I shoot for Cobalt Kinetics, and I think they make a great rifle. However, I do have a lot of the JP rifles, and I hold them in really high regard, as well as other people, such as AMU, the Army Marksmanship Unit. You know, they use the JP rifles, and JP definitely knows how to build a great AR. So when I was at the Competition Dynamics match in October, I was able to pull a prize certificate off the table for one of these builds. Now... I think having a 22 in an AR that's not all chintzy and plasticky like some other brands would be really, really cool. So the way this works is basically JP sells the upper. I believe you can buy the complete rifle, but I know you can get the upper. It's a straight bolt on. It doesn't matter your buffer system or any of that other stuff. You just bolt it straight on top of, and in this case, I had a JP lower that I just put it right on top of. It has a silent capture, but it doesn't utilize that buffer system. It actually has its own buffer system within the bolt itself. I'm not going to take out the internals because of the way YouTube's got me under scrutiny right now, they might think I'm making some kind of modification or something. But this ran a little over $800. It has an 18 inch super match barrel. This one is threaded in half 28. Um, I did clean the barrel out. I've shot 100 rounds through it just to season the barrel with Center X. And so far with Lapua Center X, I've had zero feeding issues. So that's saying something in and of itself, especially with a 22 in an AR platform. It does use the Black Dog Armory magazines. You're actually going to get one of these when you purchase the upper and whoops, I better be able to take a fall, but those are sonically welded and it will lock back on the last round, but it's being held by the actual follower itself. So don't think that you can actually change the mag because it's going to close the minute you pull that magazine out. Now, before we get started with 50 yards and 100 yards groups, this is not meant to replace a bolt gun in 22 okay i'm sure you can do a prs rimfire match or an nrl 22x match with it uh, but it's not going to have that type of accuracy nor was it designed to have that this was actually a way for you to train on the off season with your three gun rifle to be able to use a 22 which is going to be a lot more cost effective than shooting your 223 or 556 out of there my understanding is, is they do have in the works some heavy barreled versions uh, with possibly longer barrels. You know, 18 is a good number, but 20 might even be a little bit better, maybe a little bit more stability. So far, it's been very reliable. It does come with the handguard. It feels just like a regular AR, and that's the cool thing about it is, is you're really not going to notice any type of difference. But I want to see what kind of performance we can get out of it shooting that uh, Lapua Center X. So we're going to start at 50. We'll check it at 100. I honestly, and like I said, I haven't really tried to print this for groups just yet. This does have a Geisley trigger in it, a match trigger. Um, you're not going to see what you normally see out of a bolt gun out of this. I, I was told by the guys over at JP, it's just not meant to do that. Although it can be fairly accurate, it's not going to be what you guys are used to seeing on the channel. So let's go ahead and get this test underway. All right, so we'll be using Lapua Center X for this testing. We'll do it at 50 yards. I'm not going to try to make it really, really slow. I'll shoot rather quickly. And if we can keep everything within a one inch pasty at 50 yards, I think that's probably acceptable. So let me go ahead and load this mag up and we'll get to shooting it. All right, so here we go with a 10 round mag. And we will go 50 yards, top left pasty. I'm using an MPA 20 MLA mount and then a Burris XTR Pro. Here we go, top left. All right, so it threw the first shot high, and I know I was on it. Yep, there we go. So cold bore shift, and it was a clean cold bore. All right, so just shooting very quickly. We're probably high on our dope just a little bit. And that's going to be a little over an inch at 50 yards. So, like I said, it is kind of living up to what they said. You know, don't expect, uh, you know, to be shooting half inch groups at 50 yards. Although I'm sure it's possible. Uh, I don't think that's what this was designed for. So let's do it again. And it might not like this lot of ammunition. You know how 22s can be very finicky. I'll slow it down on this next group. 
but all those were still pretty pretty close uh, when I squeezed the trigger on it. So here we go again. A little slower pace. I'm solid on the rifle. Top right. And that's it. So much better grouping, didn't have any type of vertical stringing, but it's also starting to warm up a little bit as well. And that's probably gonna measure about an inch at 50 yards. Uh, let's go ahead and do it again, because I am trying to show you guys the reliability, because so far we're about 120 rounds into it without a single malfunction. Now, I'm not trying to do a torture test here or anything like that. We're just trying to show you that it runs a lot better than any other 22 that I've ever seen in a semi-automatic AR platform. Okay, we're not comparing it to a 1022 or anything. I'm pretty impressed with it. Uh, I like the feel and the weight of it, and I don't have a lot of plastic making it feel chintzy. I've got a great trigger in it. Let's go bottom left. So not a bad grouping, just a little high and left, but it's also a brand new barrel. I mean, it's only got 150, 130 rounds on it at this point, but the reliability has been great and that's hard to find in a 22 style rifle. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna shoot it at 100 yards. Uh, based on what I saw at 50 yards, I'm thinking we're probably gonna see about two inch groups or uh, two MOAs, which actually is not that bad. Now you gotta remember, it's not a kid or anything like that where you're trying to compete in a precision style match this is really more of a trainer that gives you some options so i don't know what the hold's going to be let me just go to two and see what we get i need to do a confirmation first i do have a camera going down range so confirmation targets me to the top right, top right of the board. Okay, so just underneath it, but I'm not gonna change anything. So definitely need to come up about two tenths, but I'm gonna come up three. And then what we're gonna do, and I do have one in the chamber, we're gonna do a 10 shot group at 100 on the top left target. Top left target. All right, here we go. Nicking it. Center. High. All right. Okay, so other than that one crazy flyer, that was actually just a little under two inches, but that one flyer that was up and high, you know how 22 rimfire is, guys. You never know when you're going to get a hot round. Um, I think you'll be great with it. I think it's a great training tool. Maybe the thread, yeah, the thread protector's loose. So, you know what? <laughs> Let me take this thing off because that could have affected some stuff, and I've already tightened that thing up like twice. I know I, I tightened it right before we started this. Man, I hate it when that happens. Maybe I need to throw a tuner on here, right? Not. Not happening. <laughs> and I sure as hell can't print a group because I am a talentless YouTuber, but at least I'm putting it out there. Isn't that funny? Here we go, bottom left.
high centered. Same hole. Just a hair low. Same hole. Center. Oh yeah. So guys, you see the vertical, but everything's in line. We have no wind, but the group tightened up quite a bit. That's how important it is to make sure you check your thread protector because it can make your groups go crazy when you start affecting the harmonics of that barrel, this thing starts bouncing around. I'm not worried about the 50 yard groups because I had checked it right before we started shooting, but in that little bit of time, maybe I'll throw some blue Loctite or something on this if I'm not gonna run up with a can. Now, putting a can on here, I don't know if that's going to change the feeding or it might make it a little less reliable. I don't know, because we know it's gonna speed up the carrier speed. So uh, let's go ahead and finish this out. All right, so, so far this thing has been completely reliable, uh, which is great. I actually did some testing with it without the thread protector on here, and at 50 yards it didn't really change the grouping. So what I'm going to do is just try to do some offhand shots. Now, this is too big of a scope to be training with. I really need a 1 to 8 or 1 to 10 on it. But we'll just do 100 yards. I have three different targets down there, and we'll just do two shots each. So here we go. No illuminated reticle. All right, so this thing is solid. Uh, let me see if we can just get on it and... And that's it. Guys, I think it's a great option if you're looking for a trainer that's going to replicate your three-gun rifle, especially if you're shooting a JP, because it's been super reliable, even shooting a lower power subsonic load like that Lapua Cinerex. All right, so if you're gonna buy a AR and a 22, you're probably gonna try to run it with a suppressor. This is the RF-22 by KG Made. Big shout out to Kyle uh, over there at KG Made. I've never reviewed this can, but it's a very, very effective suppressor. We're gonna see if this thing will function with that same Lapua on this rifle. The only thing I've done is I've switched out the scope for a red dot and we're at about 30 yards here. And I do have some of the Black Dog Armory, the magazines with uh, the followers that allow it to hold more than 10 rounds. So let's see how this works. And what we'll do is I'm just gonna shoot about 10 rounds into the dirt and you guys should be able to hear it, how quiet it is. And here we go. Yeah, very effective. All right, let me go ahead and see if I can uh, run some of these plates and here we go. All right, those are all hits. Of course, it's set for nine millimeter right now, but let's see if we can do a mag change in this. See if we get a little bit of continuity for doing some training. So here we go. Yeah, they're just too heavy to be able to knock those plates over. I've got one more mag. Let me see if I can knock down that other one. I'll shoot them at the top. <laughs> Not gonna knock that one over, it's too heavy. Even shooting that Lapua, we have no issues with feeding. It's been super reliable. And of course, the suppressor is extremely effective. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Um, just because you can go out here and shoot and you can probably get a bucket of bullets and just have a good time with it in the afternoons. So, you know, I'm really looking forward to them doing the bigger, the thicker barrels, um, maybe to see if we get an accuracy improvement. And like I said, it's not bad for what it is right now, and it's not designed to be something for PRS Rimfire or NRL 22X or anything like that. So guys, hope you enjoyed that review of the JP22. Pretty impressed with it and uh, glad to have it in the collection. You guys take care. And by the way, it was not sent to me for free by JP. This was a certificate that I picked up off the table at the CD match. So big shout out to JP for sponsoring all these long range events. I think it's a great option. It is a little expensive, but I think for those that want to train in the off season or train with a 22, it's going to be a great option for you. So guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the channel, definitely give me that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It's pretty easy to hit that button and go over to Rumble. I know there's been a lot of questions about my Rumble channel. It is The X Ring, just one word, capital T, and I will be cross posting all the videos there as well. So guys, uh, we'll talk to you soon. Have a great week. Have a good one.